Best of luck. Our final guest has been the front man of everyone's favourite Saturday night show for the past three series. He's the host with the most, who's always there for all the contestants, whether they're commiserating or celebrating. You're right. Why are you upset? Do you think they've made a mistake? Yes, I do. Cannot strike people. I don't care what the people are. I'm all right. I just heard this. <laughs> You won't do your you won't a big drink. Yeah. I, I feel great now. I just need to go and have a cigarette and a beer. <laughs> <laughs> and Dermot joins oh, us now. What a, um, what a lead up to this series. Surely unprecedented. I guess so. It just sort of ends up happening on us. You know what it's like. Yeah, but circumstances every year, just it... end up taking over rather than, you know. You, but it grows every, every year. You sort of think there's no way it can be as big as last year, and then again this year, it's it's happened. I've got to be honest, you wonder who's watching it because you do go everybody. Yeah, but exactly. But you do go. You know, the viewing figures go up every year, and it's wonderful, and it's a really humbling experience when that happens. But you do look at it and go, where have, where have these people come from? The, it's the seventh year. So the pressure on the final twelve now that have gone through must. Be immense because these guys you used to sort of get to know them throughout the final shows, sure. but now you really know they're almost stars in their own right before Saying they even that to enter Aiden that Grimshaw first show. the other day, like when, he, when we were at judges' houses and he got through just afterwards, just you know, when we finished filming, I was just saying you know, the extraordinary thing is when, when someone sees your first audition, it's not like they then go, Oh, I'm gonna I'm be interested in that guy, I'd like to get to know that guy. That just happens, and before mm. you know it, you know, it's not like you know, a few people see him and then the viewing figures build and so forth. He becomes an overnight star like that. And then it's up to him, obviously, to sustain that. Mm. What about the controversy this, uh, this year? I, mean, uh, I suppose you've got to sort of toe the party line and be quite careful what you say. But 40,000 people joined a Facebook campaign saying that, uh, that the, the dismissal of Gamu was a catastrophe. And we read in the papers every day the story seems to change. Um, whether or not there have been issues within the family or not issues within the family, well, and you don't know what's true or what's not true. The sad true. thing, of course, is, is, you know, what's going on with her externally and, and you know, and, and we're just trying to give her as much support as we possibly can. But I think people have to understand that up to the point that we get into the studio, the show isn't a democracy, do you know? The, the, the judges make those decisions. And you know what Cheryl and Danny especially are like, mm. you know, no one puts words in their mouth and they make the decisions, you know, based on who they think best represent them in the final. And and they've done that. When they, when you saw um, Cheryl's final three, her, the choice that she'd made, did you sort of go, hmm, that's interesting. You know, that, well, you know what always happens when you go to the judges' houses is you, you, you try and cheat it. It's almost like getting your Christmas presents early. You try and, like, get your head up to the door when people audition. You're thinking, oh, what are they like? And what I will say is not one person, not one girl stood out at Cheryl's house. You know what? You didn't hear Gamma and think she was, you know, she was in any way, shape, or form better than any of the other girls. Mm. No one really shone. No one really shone. It was that time. Mm. But you know, you look at someone like Cher's first audition, and you totally on that on, that, on the strength of that and what she brings to the show and the originality. Yeah. You totally understand why Cheryl put her through. I think she was good to go. Oh, no, amazing. just amazing. And also, she was unwell, which is slightly different. But I think the problem that people have slightly is with Katie, who they wasn't didn't, unwell. Didn't there wasn't really, really seem to a reason a performance. for it. I know, but you know, I mean, you you were sort of asking the wrong person. To I a know. Degree. You need but to you know, but you were but, there. But you were standing. But that's there. like well, that's what I mean, like that's what I mean. In that, you just never know. Uh, listening to all of them, I always thought. I mean, Katie has touches of brilliance when she sings, mm. and listening to all of them, it's all what the judges think. Like, trust me, no In one is ringing Cheryl up saying, you must put this person through. She's not exactly the sort of person that would be produced like that. Mm. And the um, show doesn't really work like that, really, you know? Who's, um, who, there's a twist. We know about this. It's a very exciting twist. Are you going to hop all around this, or can you give us any sort mm, of clue? I've got, I've, I, we can't open our Christmas presents early, can we? Oh, we can, no, though. We can't. One on Christmas Eve, at least. Um, <laughs> it's a big twist. It's fun. It will involve... It's not. Does, <laughs> it involve, does it involve bringing somebody back? Mm. <laughs> oh, don't make me give you a Chinese bird. Do it. I can withstand the pressure, I promise you. Um, d oh, oh, as a nation, are we going to be relieved? Are we going to feel that justice has been done? It depends what your definition of justice is. Well, as in certain people coming back that we thought might have to. Who knows? You're just going to say no. Well, so you do exactly the same thing as you said here last year. Uh, from a how different else way. Can I do this? Um, <clears throat> hmm, I can't. I can't. Go on. You're good at I this. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I know he's not going to tell us. I know. He's I, very good. I, he's there's no good. way. I know. I know. Is, can you imagine great, if you great... gave this secret away here and now, just what it would be like when you got to the Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's no 
particular party line to tread, like you said, but I would be murdered if I said that. Yeah, I appreciate that. It was a bit like me twittering the, the live dates. <laughs> Do you remember when I did that last year? Not my best move. Um, <laughs> what, um, are there any exciting things throughout the show? Is it going to have the same sort of format that it's had? Are the live show's going to be the same sort of thing? Well, no, because part of that twist okay. will involve ramifications down the line. Oh, OK. Oh, man, I'm, so, I'm in such thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing very well. <laughs> no, no, but no. I will ship under pressure. We don't. <laughs> Actually, we don't want to get you into trouble, no. so, so we, won't, we won't do that. What you are um, is, is an emotional shoulder for them to cry you know, it's during weird. Auditions. I never thought that would happen when I first started. I just are thought, you that sort of a person? Not particularly. That's no. the strangest thing. I mean, I'm, I'm not bad, but I, you know, I, I, I would say I'm quite warm. But... It's odd. Everyone always says you hug everyone. And if you watch, we don't really hug anyone. They just come up and just collapse into your arms. You just think, oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah, it is quite odd. I just thought it would be like, a bit like Big Brother and I'd be able to sort of have a little bit of fun, which you can have, certainly. Well, in that's the, the big stage. difference of the audition uh, part of the show and then the live studio part of the show is because they're so worlds apart. That shoulder to cry on, the emotion, and then you're there presenting a big, shiny floor show yeah. on a Saturday night and all the responsibility that comes with it. Yeah, absolutely. And that, I can't wait for that. I know. But you, do you get nervous? Yeah, totally. But, that, but good nerves, you know? Yeah. I mean, just that wonderful sort of... I remember you always said to me, is that, that feeling where before the doors open, you look around at anyone, like the sound man, and go, don't want to do it, you do it. <laughs> and then <laughs> the, the, the doors open, you go, oh, yeah, this is what I do. Um, so it's a little bit like that, but I can't. What about the American one? Because there's X Factor uh, US. Yeah. And, and if we're led to believe anything, that you, you held back to see whether or not it might come your way, but you don't know uh, no where it's going to go. Yeah, I don't uh. think. I mean, you know, I, it, I'd be a fool if I said I wasn't interested in doing that job. Uh. But at the same time, I want to do it for the right reasons. I want to do it because they want me rather than someone who's British or what have you. But, you know, I, I'm pretty philosophical but about it. But you do it if you were asked to. I, I'd certainly strongly consider it. Yeah. You'd be amazing <laughs> to um, let's represent uh, the Brits. We've got, you're quite right too. We've got some, um, got some questions in the hub. What you got, Matt? Hello, Dermot. We've got lots of, uh, obviously, questions from Nick Hargreaves, from Facebook. Uh, is Dermot missing Holly, uh, the presentinators? Are you missing that? Oh, I like the hub. Do I like the hub? <laughs> yeah, very much so. Are you I'm, missing I'm, Holly? I'm missing you a great deal. Connie's very good, don't get me wrong, but I, I do miss Holly. Mm -hmm. I miss presentators. Presentators was fun. Yeah. It was very good. One more, Matt. Uh, what do you think about the reaction to the to the to the picks by this year's judges? We, we've talked about this before, but you know, what do you think personally about the the press speculation and of course um, death threats to Cheryl? Well, obviously, <laughs> I'm quite shocked about death threats to Cheryl. Um, but the uh, like I said earlier on, it's, it's it's tricky because certainly as a host, you've you've got to be devil's advocate to a degree. Mm. But what I will say, sticking up for the judges, is they have to make the decision yes. up to the <clears> point <throat> we go live, and then we give it to the audience. And that's the way the shows always work. And also, yeah. you can't you know, complain yeah. that someone hasn't can't actually genuinely complain that someone hasn't picked the person you want them to and say no. that's, that's and death threats that. over a TV yeah, or, show. Or, or, or uh, sort yourself or get out. Get in touch with Ofcom or something. Exactly. Yeah. Um, thanks, Matt. Uh,